Honestly, I never thought I'd be spotlighting an Xbox title since I've never actually played an Xbox back in the day. But here we are with the first in this mystical game of Sudeki. Sudeki is an action role-playing game developed by Climax Solent and published by Microsoft for the Xbox in July 20th, 2004 and then a year later for the PC in March 25th, 2005. This was a game that was suggested to me back in my Vampire the Masquerade episode by a user named Gagofsky. So if you're watching this, it took me long enough, huh? With that said, it's time to dive into uncharted territory and see what this Xbox game has to offer. Of the gods and demigods created from the void, Tetsu heir to the realm of Omnium received a gift with which he toyed. Sudeki and all its subjects would worship him alone, yet still he longed for another god to share his celestial home. So drawn from him his crystal skin, another child was born. Yet slicing one, though good and true, the light from dark was torn. At first the brothers celebrated and shared their world in faith, but then the dark grew powerful and love was laid to waste. The dark gave swing to the selfish twin and he banished out his brother. Now weakening, the good twin fled in search of help from others. Of animal men, one wise and fair, his tribe they turned to flee, while human beings hid their feelings save the heroic three. Twas separation brought us here. How selfish was my wish. So unity will be our new goal. We fight, the angel hissed. They fought the beast so powerful and forced him to give in. Then, as battle silenced, a rage came o'er the twin. The world was torn asunder. The subject split in two. Unable to reach the afterlife, death drifted in the gloom. And then the magic ceased, silence took control, an age one thousand years would pass before these kin would toil. And of the four who bravely fought, their fate was not to end, for time would tell to save from hell we will need these friends again. Now is the hour that my brother wakes. In Sudeki, you play the role of Tal, a young swordsman who joined the Illumina army to prove himself while under the command of his own father, Arlo. As he trains, an invasion occurs and he is tasked with leading a patrol to destroy the Eclorian threat to protect Princess Ailish. When the chips are down and he's caught off guard, he is rescued by Tetsu, who imbues him with the power of his ancestor, Karastin the Wolf. Now with this newfound power, Tal defeats the Eclorian army, but something tells me his adventure is only just beginning. Sudeki will run you around 20 to 30 hours to complete, which honestly is a little bit underwhelming to say the least considering this is an RPG. Perhaps it's better this way, as the game does feel a bit slow sometimes when progressing from quest to quest. I'll reserve my judgement since it gave us a decent start to what seems like a grand adventure, and now it's time to see how the visual flair does. The graphics for Sudeki are… look. I won't sugarcoat it for you. I personally find them pretty ugly to be honest. I only saw a handful of characters that actually look good, but other than those very few, everyone else looks too long faced or squished or something. Their designs are unique and interesting, but nothing really captured me except for the monster designs and the last games you traversed through. It doesn't make the game unplayable for me, but it just looks like an older game than it truly is, which is really strange for me. I know the graphics aren't my cup of tea. But maybe some of you out there will like it or you'll find enjoyment in it yourselves, which I say more power to you and I hope you'll enjoy the game much more with that said. Now let's jump into the audio and see how that plays out. The music for Sudeki is by far one of my favorite parts of the game as some of the beginnings of the tracks really entranced me before taking me on a whole new world. Illumina Castle's music introduction really gives me a sort of Jack and Daxter slash Ratchet and Clank feel.
New Brightwater's theme sounds very mystical and also peaceful. Hey, New Brightwater has a royal guest today. That's right. Princess Ailish of Illumina passed right by here but a few minutes ago. She was arguing with her maid about something or other, so I didn't say hello. Sure. According to village gossip, she will be at Denzi's house. He can't miss it. Straight down the hill, in the center of town, there's a big blue house. And the music for the comet really sets it up nicely to give me that sense of urgency while also having a nice tempo to go with my combos. Now while the music is really astounding to the ears, the voice acting is pretty hit or miss, mostly miss for me. It almost feels like the voice actors are more concerned with pronouncing all the words like this than really giving their characters any, you know, character. Yes, your highness. Thank goodness you're safe. I've been sent to escort you home. There was some trouble with the Eclorians near here and... Let's go then. I never wanted to come to this dreary little town in the first place. Besides, I promised Elko I'd see his crystal tower light up. You know Elko. It's not to say they did a bad job, but maybe they just weren't given enough direction on how they needed to portray their characters' personalities and such. It's not enough to deter me from the game, however, and I hope it won't stop you from finding enjoyment in it as well. With all that said, I think the gameplay is what makes this game, so let's dive into how Sudeki delivers on a unique experience. The gameplay for Sudeki is really enjoyable as well as tactical. When you fight melee, you have to time your attacks in order to produce combos. You can use X or Y in different combinations to produce different attack combos that can help turn the tides of battle in your favor. Some examples being one combo that ends with you dashing and closing the gap between you and your enemy, one that's an AoE slash, and one that is a very stylistic sword strike that does good damage. With good combos comes your typical RPG elements like upgrading stats to get new skills to use, which the skills in this game show you the area they'll affect as they charge to give you some time to properly position yourself. You also have the ability to summon your ancestor from time to time to practically wipe out all enemies in the area or at least massively damage them. You'll also find several items to heal mana and HP among other things to help you and your party survive long. And one of the best parts of the game is your ability to switch characters and even change gameplay too. When switching to a ranged character, your gameplay changes from an action RPG to a first person shooter as you fire projectiles from a distance to help your melee fighters as well as clearing the field. What's also cool about controlling other characters is using their abilities to find secrets while you're exploring the world. Be wary though, as while you control another character, the ones you aren't controlling use AI to do battle in your stead, which can be a frustrating chore at times since melee fighters can end battles with extremely low HP if you're not watching them carefully. But I have faith you'll take care of your team and come out victorious. Finally, there's even collectible types of quests in this game that claim to give you some really strong weapons, so you're encouraged to explore and discover as you progress through the story. Sudeki gives you a lot of things to do, and with the music and graphics combined, gives you a unique experience you just have to play for yourself. Sudeki is a fun and engaging game that, while not looking the best, still delivers on a solid experience I think many Xbox players can remember fondly if you ask them about it. I think it's great it came out on PC, even if it has technical issues from time to time, but it would be even better if the game ever got a remaster that could fix the problems and bugs and improve its graphical quality overall. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Under Radar. 
drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more under radar, and share the video around if you think we need more under radar in the world. Thank you guys for another fantastic episode of Under Radar, and I'll see you on the next one.